Change, man. Um, someone said, Etika, check out Local 58. Did they do something new? Hey, they did do something new. This is a video called uh, Local 58 Real Sleep, uploaded four days ago. Now, these dudes, they actually had like this um, Patreon that was set up to help them uh, make videos and stuff. Is the Patreon doing well? I'm just curious. I want to see. 102 patrons. Okay, so they must be making some good money, man. I I'm just glad to see that these niggas are creating videos on a regular basis. Um, at least a little bit more of a regular basis. The last video before this one was three months ago, which is, I don't know, I guess it's kind of typical because videos of their quality, the kind of shit that they put out, man, it's so, it's so detailed and the horror that they put out. It it's just, yeah, I can understand them taking time with this shit, man. Real Sleep, Local 58, 84,000 views four days ago. Let's see what the deal is, man. I'm ready for it. Now, this is a little bit more of a different sort of change to pace in a sense. Like, we've been watching nothing but rap videos and YouTube drama throughout this entire live stream, the day before Christmas and shit. Let's actually wind down with something that's gonna scare the fucking shit out of us. Um, I don't know. To get into the mood, I'm turning down the fucking lights real quick, man. Okay. Let's see. Go back. Nineteen eighty three Thought Research Initiative. It's like a training video or like a school video or something. What the fuck? Dreaming is necessary. That's facts. I get it. Dreams contain symbolism that can predict the future. That's myth, obviously. Myth, myth. The symbols in dreams arise from the unconscious mind assigning narrative meaning. Wait a minute, it's fact? Wait a second, that's a fact? Dreams represent the future? Wait a second, wait, a, wait, hold on. I don't know if they're using actual science. Do dreams contain symbolism that can predict the future? I said no, but it's fact. The symbols in dreams arise from the unconscious mind assigning narrative meaning to a neurochemical waste filtration process? Precognition is a lie. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, I don't know. Sleep allows the mind and body to heal and recover. That's facts, right? Okay, eight hours of sleep per night is beneficial for both body and mind. I don't see where this is. Whoa, they're saying that recovery from sleep is greatly diminished by the frantic nonsensical images and auditory stuff we call dreaming. Dreaming is the vestige of a primitive mind? I don't see how that makes sense. Everybody dreams. The Clayton map. Turn your... Okay. Where is this going? Our studies have allowed us to zero in on the neural pathways. Okay. A brain burdened by dream stimuli. Once mapped... This activity can be triggered by other controlled stimuli and crew. The opposite effect can be induced by use. What? Okay, I'm being thrown off a little bit. No more dreaming. This is what restful, real sleep looks like. Inducing your anti-dream. The fuck? No too much. This was customized for us. 
So this map shows like electrical impulses when you're asleep. Visual calibration. Stare directly at the center of your television. I don't know if, if old St. Nicholas is ready for this. This this is definitely not no holiday spirit type shit. There are no faces. There are no faces. There are no faces. There are no faces. I'm doing it. There are no faces. 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 Acceptance? Read each phrase without reading. I want a dream. It said, do not see a doctor. These videos get so fucking creepy, bro. What the fuck? Okay. These niggas are clearly that wasn't as creepy as I guess the other ones were, but that was still kind of disorienting, man. I think that's what the point of these whole things are. They're changing it up in terms of like how things can be creepy. That was like I think one of the first videos of that kind that they've made. It was like a fucking it was, it was like a instructional. Well, no, they made instructional videos before. The one that they made before with the suicide thing, where they were like, "Yo, if we get invaded by a foreign country." And Russia, let's just say Russia comes in and they're sailing into New York City and they're motherfucking taking over. Yo, lay on your front lawn and take yourself out to show the power of the American will. Like, what the fuck, nigga? No, thank you. I think I'll take my chances with the Russians rather than offing myself right away, bro. Fuck all that, nigga. Like, they said only one viewing of that cassette tape and you're going to start, you're going to stop dreaming. Which apparently is a bad thing. I, I don't know if I, I like that. That makes me feel kind of uncomfortable, bro. But, you know, I'll, I'll deal. I'll deal for now. That was kind of wild. Thanks for um, whoever the hell suggested me to check that shit out. Thank you very much, my friend.